Good morning, folks. Before I begin, let me say that I am not used to doing this type of content. This is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, out of my lane, however you want to say it. So along with that, I am shooting from the hip with no script. So if things are a little disjointed, please forgive me for that. Also, if I get a little too caught up in this subject matter, forgive me for that. I do realize that comics, anything related to comics, something that we enjoy, any character, any book, whatever, that's not our property. We don't own it. We have no say so over what's done with it. However, I'm sure everyone can identify with this, that if you like something or you love something and as you grow older, you get accustomed to it, you like it the way it is. When you were a child and you were watching that favorite cartoon, that's your cartoon. You don't want it to radically change as you know, as time passes on. You want it to pretty much remain the same as it was. I guess that's how fans of comics and comic characters, that's how we feel about our characters, air quotes around our, we don't want them to change a lot, maybe a little. And I wanted to say something else before I got into this, but maybe it'll come to mind later on. And I will try to keep this short, but I cannot promise that. Okay, where I want to start off with is with the obvious. This is not the Fantastic Four. Hold on, let me... Like I said, things are going to be a little disjointed. We'll get to that in a moment. This is not the Fantastic Four. Pedro. I have nothing against this fella. I've been watching him since he was in, I believe the show was Narcos on Netflix like eons ago before he was a household name. So, and he's been in a lot of stuff. And lately he's been in too much stuff. Not only him, but there are throughout Hollywood's history, they have picked out certain individuals that they want to put on a pedestal or the stage front, however you say it, okay? They want to just push them out there. They push them and push them and just sometimes is they just have them out there too much. That's how I'm feeling about Pedro right now. He was not the proper fit for The Last of Us. He did an okay job, but there were better looking actors, not better looking in that sense, but some actors who look better to play the role of Joel. Okay, same with here. This is not Reed Richards. Joel, Pedro is not Reed Richards. I probably won't speak much about the other actors. I don't know this guy. I think he's playing Ben. That's a wrong choice too. Bad casting choice. I don't I heard her. I can't remember her name right now, but I I've heard her name around. She's been around a while. This guy I don't know from Adam. Now, he could probably make a good Johnny Storm because you okay. For her his role you need a, a, a flashy, good-looking young guy. And pretty much for Storm, you need, not Storm, but Susan, you need a, a, a good-looking, motherly-type uh, actress because when it comes down to it, that's what Susan is. She's like the, the what's the word? Um, it's the word for motherly-type person. The nurturing type? I don't know if that's right, but... One of the things that originally got me into the Fantastic Four was that family vibe, the family feeling. I can remember stories from when I was a kid, the old Stan Lee and Jack Kirby days. Oh, and speaking of that, y'all, don't let me forget to talk about Herbie, all right, later on, speaking of that. So that was her role in the early days. She was like the motherly figure when 
when Ben and Johnny got into fights, hold on, I, I just can't refer to them as Ben and, and Johnny. They, they just, all right, uh, let me, let me go back. Mm. Nope. Let's go, all right, let's just go here. Okay. Yeah, whenever these two get into it, and if you remember the old Fantastic Four books, these two are always get into it like little family squabbles. That's what families do. They get into it, they fuss and fight, but at the end of the day, they got each other's back. And she would be the referee a lot of times when Reed was stuck up in his lab somewhere behind closed doors with his head in some books or a machine. Susan would come and referee between these two right here. But it was nothing but love, all right? So that was her role. So you, get, to get back where it started, you just need a, a motherly type person, uh, a good looking, of course, not some uh, DEI. And I don't wanna, is it DEI or DIE? I, I don't know, but you know what I mean. You don't need some person who does not fit the role of the typical Susan Storm character. You don't need that. So again, you just need a nice looking female actor to play the role. And she has to be blonde. Again, same with Johnny. A nice looking uh, young man with blonde hair to play the role. For Ben, you need a, a big, brony, gruff person. And from what I saw in this picture, this is not a big person. Now, maybe they can beef him up between now and when they start shooting. Like, they did wonders with Gal Gadot. I was really surprised because... When she was in Fast and Fierce and I saw her and then they said she was going to be Wonder Woman. I was like, no way. But they pulled it off because she, she got a little bigger. So maybe they can make him bigger, but he has to be. He can't be no little scrawny person. He just cannot be. That's not Ben Grimm. Even though he's going to be covered with makeup and probably a CGI still, when he's Ben Grimm and not Thing, you want a big gruff person. This don't fit, this don't fit, she might fit, and he might fit. Now, let's go back to, okay, hold on. Let's go back to where I want to be. Where do I want to be? I don't know. Okay, I thought I put the picture here, but I didn't. Speaking of this DEI diversity, inclusion, all that stuff. I don't keep up with it that much and I don't want to talk about it too much. So I don't want that to be what this video is about. But from what I'm hearing, and it's only rumors, it's not, it's nothing confirmed, but it seems like a lot of rumors that you hear on the internet, they come true. It's like they're pushing Susan to be the lead of this team. And before I get to that, okay. Susan is not the lead of the Fantastic Four. She does not lead the Fantastic Four. This man right here, this actor is Reed Richards. And I want to point that out and be specific when I say it. This actor, and I think his name is like Eon Gidding or something. You can look it up. I just didn't have a lot of time. This is Reed Richards. This guy went... Okay, we've all done it. When we picture a actor playing any character, it could be a comic book character, it could be a paperback novel character, it could be a a game character. When we picture them as an as an actor on the screen, we have a vision in our head of which actor could play that character, and this right here is Reed Richards. Maybe he's a little older since they made the Fantastic Four movie a long time ago, but Reed Richards has a little age to him. And that's Reed Richards, folks. This, this is not Reed Richards. This is Reed Richards. And I'm a little bit passionate about the Fantastic Four because throughout my collecting days my favorites were fantastic four daredevil yes daredevil not spider-man i like spider-man but daredevil i prefer daredevil over spider-man hulk and luke cage and 
Fantastic Four, I have more Fantastic Four books than any other book in my collection, I do believe. And they were some of, they were my favorite when it comes to the teams. So I've seen the other movies. Where am I at? Okay, I've seen this one. I saw the original Fantastic Four movie and I saw the what the second one with Silver Surfer. I saw those. They weren't great. They were okay. This one right here, it just they were getting too much into the DEI stuff for me. I do like Michael and I can't remember her name, but uh, she's a good actress. This is just this 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 wasn't the Fantastic Four either. The okay, I'll leave that alone. Okay, Fantastic Four. I'm going to keep hope alive and hope they don't screw this up. And then I guess I'm just going to wrap this video up. But first, I wanted to show you something if I can get to it. But you know what? Let me talk about this before I go to that and then screw things up. All right, let's start with this. If you are in, okay. I do not have sponsors, folks. I do not have a, a fancy big website with a fancy app where I, I'm making money. The only way I can uh, try to make money to keep my YouTube channel going is through selling comics and from time to time other collectibles. And so this consider this an ad for my channel. I do sell comics. I'm presently listing all of them from A to Z on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in anything, all the information is there. Go click on one of the videos, check it out, and see what's going on. And I do have this book available uh, for sale. And it will be sold as a lot. I think the lot is maybe five or six books. So if you're interested, let me know. And let me see. Again, this if you are not familiar with this look up roger corman fantastic four movie and it'll come up i'm not going to say anything else about it don't want to get in trouble but i have this on vhs if you're interested let me know and that's them again and when i saw this uh, back in the day when i saw this this was way before hero movies were a big thing uh, it, it was just it was it let me say, I got a thrill out of watching it because you didn't see this a lot back then. And to see your heroes on screen, it, 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 it was a special feeling. So let me see, where did I want to go? Before I get too far, I almost forgot. Did I say I have DVDs for sale also? Yes, I do have DVDs. I have this one. I have the first Fantastic Four movie and i think i have the second fantastic four movie along with a bunch of other superhero movies and a whole assortment of dvds if you're interested in something hit me up let me know i might have it uh, let me see i hope i did not miss anything because I, like i said i didn't use a script okay folks this is what i want to say if you happen to come to my little bitty youtube channel and you happen to click on this video happen to watch it happen to listen to it and if you hear this, if you're in a position to do so, maybe you're some big wig, Hollywood producer, or maybe if you are, you maybe you are a YouTube influencer, and you have connection with somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who can do this, please talk to them. Seems like this book is hot right now because right here, don't know if you caught it, but this, I'm sure that's Herbie. Let's check it out. Yep, there are some slight differences, but I'm sure this is Herbie. And real quick, in case you don't know, just take a look at this picture. Who's missing? Who's missing? Okay. There was a period. Wait a minute. He's right there. I was talking about Reed. Okay, maybe memory is failing me, but I won't state this as fact because now I'm not sure. Because... I thought at one time 
something had happened to Reed and he was brought in as a replacement for Reed until he came back and also as comic relief. Maybe it was Ben. Oh, okay, you know what? Maybe I need to look at the book. But keep in mind, folks, when did this come out? I don't know, 30 years ago or more? So I can't remember, but I was sure he came in as a temporary replacement. Anyway, this is what I'm getting at, folks. If they got him in this drawing, this picture here, I'm sure Herbie is going to be in this movie. And this is my request to anyone in a position to do so. Talk to Hollywood or talk to the people making this movie. And if you have to start a petition, change the name of this character to Kirby. Can you do that for me? I think that would be fitting. Herbie, Kirby sounds alike. And I think Herbie was an acronym for something. And they could do the same with Kirby. If they want the acronym angle, they can do that. That would be appropriate, I do believe. So that is my request to y'all. Now, I said most of the stuff I want to say. I just want to go through some pictures I saw online. Hopefully, I won't mess it up. If I mess it up, this will be the end of my video. If I don't, I'll talk a little bit more about the Fantastic Four. Okay, here we go. Look like it's going to work out for me. I just want to go through some of these pictures. Okay, Wolverine. I have thoughts about Wolverine and who should play him, but I won't go into that. Now, I thought this was all, okay, there it is. That's, that's Reed Richards, folks, in his lab. That actor is Reed Richards. You have to be, a, Pedro does not look nerdy. I know what nerdy is. I've been one my whole life. Nerdy, geek, dweeb, uh, schoolboy, whatever you want to call it. And that's what Reed is at heart. He's smart as hell, probably the smartest, <laughs> probably the smartest uh, nerd in the world, but he's a nerd. A geeky nerd. And Pedro is not that. And he looks sexy in his blue outfit too, huh? <laughs> oh man. It just, you know, you keep hoping and, and waiting for the perfect actor to come and play the role. And they just, Hollywood keeps screwing it up. I don't understand. It's like they try... They go out of their way to do what the fans don't want them to do. Now, Chris, Chris could, you no, know, Chris has outgrown that role. He can't play Johnny no more. He's too old, but he did an outstanding job as Johnny. Didn't care for, for I can't remember her name. Um, Starts with an A. I can't remember, but she, she did an okay job, but that's not Susan Storm right there. Okay, let me keep it moving. I'm trying to wrap this up. I wish they would work on the uniforms also. They should be like more utilitarian. They should be blue with the, the high boots and firm fitting is it firm fitting i think it's firm fitting or form fitting fit kind of tight but a little bit loose not hip hugging body hugging like these are and they should have like you know belts with stuff on them and all kind of little gadgets and pockets and because that's the type of characters these are they're not really spandex wearing cape wearing flying around type heroes they're more grounded all right folks that's it i just i'm not into comics i'm slowly getting out of comics but i still some of these characters still have a place in my heart from when i was in in comics and i just don't like to see the change some of the changes i understand why it's going on but i just don't like it still and i just want to make a comment and let my voice be heard. There seems to be a lot of discussion. That is not a proper fit right there either. I just want to let my voice be heard because there's a lot of talk about this upcoming movie, like with all upcoming movies, but a lot of them don't affect me or don't hit as close as home as the Fantastic Four. He did a good job, but that wasn't a proper fit. Maybe if this is 
gets enough views and if enough fo folks show interest in it maybe i'll come and do some more of these because i have a lot of thoughts and opinions on a lot of stuff going on with comics and comic related movies all right folks but i'm going to wrap it up with that if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell give the video a thumbs up leave a comment if you are inclined to do so tell your friends about my channel and i am trying to get my channel to grow like any other uh, youtuber i am close to 400 if you've been keeping up you know that i will be having a contest around 400 subscribers so help us get there i'm at 381 so i'm almost there tell 19 of your friends to come join and we could be doing a contest next week okay folks let me edit this I want to go ahead and get this out today to go ahead and put my three cents in uh, about this movie while it's a hot topic. Thanks again. Bye.